The 2018 NFL regular season is officially over, setting up the official pick order for 20 teams in the 2019 NFL Draft in April, with a record of 3-13, the Arizona Cardinals will have the no. 1 overall pick The Raiders boast the most first-round picks of any team thanks to their trades with the Bears for Khalil Mack and Dallas Cowboys for Amari Cooper. The Packers are the only other team with more than one opening round pick this year thanks to a deal they made with the Saints during the 2017 NFL Draft in order for New Orleans to pick up Marcus Davenport. Way down at the bottom of the list are the Saints, Chiefs, Patriots and Rams, four teams many experts and fans believe are the frontrunners to win Super Bowl 53 in February. Check out the full order for the first round of the 2019 NFL Draft below. The draft is set to take place on April 25-27, 2019 in Nashville, Tennessee, record, 3-13 After finishing with the worst record in the league this season, the Cardinals' front office chose to fire first-year head coach Steve Wilkes this week. It was a very tough decision but when I looked at the record, when I looked at the lack of competitiveness, the games of that record and the direction we were going in, I felt like it was in the best interest of the organization to go in a different direction, team president Michael Bidwill said when the firing was announced. And certainly the performance, it's a results-oriented business, and if you don't win, everybody knows what happens. Record, 4-12 Kyle Shanahan told the 49ers team website this week that he doesn't plan to make any major coaching changes in the offseason following a 4-1-2-2-0-1-8 season. No, I don't see myself making any specific changes, Shanahan said. I like our staff a lot. I think we've got some good coaches. I think there's areas we can all get better in. I have an obligation to this organization that, just like I say with any player, when you guys ask me, hey, is this guy tradable or anything like that, I'll never say no one's for sure not. I mean, if Bill Belichick became available two weeks from now and said he wants to come here, and I was told I had to let someone go to bring him in, that would probably be a smart decision to do that. I'm not going to ever say that everyone is just totally safe forever. But, what I can say is I think our staff is a very good staff and I like what our guys are, and where they can be and it's the staff I want to hold on to. Record, 4-12 The Jets fired head coach Todd Bowles after ending the season with a 4-12 record, and now the front office will search for a coach who can help develop Sam Darnold into a franchise quarterback. The person doesn't have to be an offensive or defensive-minded coach, per se, but we definitely want to make sure they have a plan in place to develop our young quarterback in Sam Darnold, general manager Mike McCagnan said on Monday. On Tuesday ESPN reported that former Packers coach Mike McCarthy will interview for the job. Record, 4-12 The Raiders' first year under John Gruden as head coach was a mess, but the team has plenty. A cap space and three first-round draft picks to work with heading into the offseason, I love it, Gruden said in his post-game press conference after losing on Sunday to the Chiefs 35-3. That's all I will say, and it is a great responsibility. I am sure I have a lot of critics out there, but I am really excited to stick my shovel in the ground and keep digging. Record, 5-11 Buccaneers general manager Jason Licht told reporters on Monday that Dirk Coder's replacement at head coach will have to move forward with Jameis Winston as the starting quarterback. Jameis is someone we hold in high regard here, Licht said. Quote dot dot dot. There's a lot to like about Jameis. He will be here next year. Based on the texts and phone calls and emails I've been getting since roughly 8 o'clock last night, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Obviously, we went through a lot at the beginning of this season, with the suspension, he added. There was a lot going on in this organization that was tough for a lot of people to overcome. I saw him bounce back at the end of the year and play very, very good in my eyes and a lot people's eyes for the condition that he was in. We have a lot of faith in him. Record, 5-11 After wrapping up the 2018 season with a 36-35 loss to Dallas, Eli Manning said he was unsure about his future in the NFL, this is all I know. I love coming to practice. I love game planning and getting plays that will work and competing and winning games and celebrating touchdowns. All those things, Manning said. 
All that's fun. The losses hurt. The losses are tough to deal with and tougher to deal with, probably in the past because you know your opportunities are running low to make the playoffs and championship runs and those things. So when you're not doing as well as you'd want to, it's tougher to handle. Record, 5-11 Executive Vice President Tom Kuglin publicly chastised both Leonard Fournette and TJ. Yeldon for their sideline behavior following Sunday's season finale loss to the Texans, I am disappointed in the behavior today from TJ. Yeldon and Leonard Fournette, Coughlin said. They were disrespectful, selfish and their behavior was unbecoming that of a professional football player. Shortly afterwards news broke that the remaining guaranteed money in Fournette's rookie contract had been voided following his suspension for getting into a fight with Bills defensive end Shaq Lawson in late November. Record, 6-10 despite finishing last in the NFC North with a 6-10 record, Lions coach Matt Patricia told reporters on Monday he was confident in turning the team around in the near future. Obviously, we're all very disappointed in the way way the season ended, Patricia said. It's not how we wanted to be here after 16 games. We have high expectations, and we continue those high expectations. The bar is high for a reason. We're trying to build something here at a championship level, and we got a lot of work to do. Record, 6-10 The Bills went from looking looking historically bad to finishing with a 6-10 record, and they owe a lot of that turnaround to rookie quarterback Josh Allen. I definitely think as the year went on, we improved, Allen said to the Buffalo News while reflecting on his first NFL season. I think we kind of found ourselves and who we are in the last six, seven games. Coach brought up some analytical points with us and I'll keep those in-house, but it's pretty promising and exciting to think about what we could have done and what we can do and what's in the future. I'm extremely excited to have the guys that we have. I'm looking forward to growing with these guys and going into next season with some momentum now and trying to continue to improve. Record, 6-10 The Broncos were one of many teams to part ways with their head coach the day after the 2018 season ended, firing Vance Joseph after his second losing season. I spoke with Vance this morning and thanked him for all of his hard work as our head coach, John Elway said in a statement on Monday. Although we decided to make this change, I believe Vance is a good football coach who has a bright future in this league. Vance made a lot of strides and deserves credit for how hard and competitively the team played this season. There's always going to be a high standard here, the bottom line is we need to win more football games. We're excited about the foundation that's being built and look forward to putting in the work to get the Broncos back on the winning track. Record, 6-10 after 16 years with the team, Coach Marvin. Lewis and the Cincinnati Bengals agreed to part ways after the Bengals finished the 2018 season at 6-10 and failed to reach the postseason. Mike Brown and I both decided that it's time. It was a tough moment for both of us, but I think we both realized it was time to leave. Lewis said in an ESPN interview, record, 6, 9, 1 The Packers are already searching for their next head coach to replace Mike McCarthy after a woefully disappointing 2018 season, I think one of the things I've learned is how important fit is, interim head coach Joe Philbin, who will be in the running to take the full-time gig, said on Monday. I think maybe the first time I went through it, and you've never been a head coach, you're not as concerned about some of that stuff. Boy, I want to get a head coaching job. I've been 28 years in the business, and I've never been a head coach and here's my chance. Record, 7-9 The Dolphins opted to fire head coach Adam Gase on Monday. The ultimate goal is winning Super Bowls and being a consistent winner. Long sustained success where the fans are happy and owner Stephen Ross is happy, general manager Chris Greer said. The important thing is finding the right guy who believes in some of the same things that I do, in terms of building a team. It's going to be a collaboration of everything we do still. It's not going to work if he and I don't share a vision to implement that plan throughout the organization. Record, 7-9 The Falcons overhauled most of their coaching staff this week following Sunday's season finale win over Tampa Bay, firing offensive coordinator Steve Sarkeesian, defensive coordinator Marquand Manuel and special teams coordinator Keith Armstrong. 
while Dan Quinn's job as head coach is secure for now, this shift does put pressure on Quinn to right the ship for Atlanta quickly. Quinn announced shortly after Manuel's firing that he'd be taking over the responsibility as defensive coordinator going forward. Record, 7-9 the Redskins lost to the Eagles 24-0 on Sunday, capping off a heartbreaking season that saw playoff potential be snuffed out by Alex Smith suffering a serious leg injury. We're obviously hopeful he can turn a corner and start the rehab process and possibly get back on the field, Jay Gruden said in an interview with ESPN's Adam Schefter. That's all we can hope for right now. Record, 7-9 The Panthers' seven-game losing skid wound up knocking them out of playoff contention, and they'll enter the offseason with plenty of questions surrounding the status of Cam Newton's injured shoulder. There's a sense of urgency right now of having an exact plan for Cam and diagnosis of where he's at. We certainly wouldn't want to get caught in this situation again, offensive coordinator Norv Turner said regarding Cam in an interview with The Athletic. So that will create a sense of urgency about how we evaluate quarterbacks. Record, 7-8-1 Baker Mayfield finished his rookie season with a 6-7 record as a starter, but showed plenty of promise as the future of the Browns franchise. The number one overall draft pick finished with 3,725 passing yards, 27 touchdowns and 14 interceptions across 14 games. Combined with fellow rookie Nick Chubb, wideout Jarvis Landry and interim head coach Greg Williams, Mayfield led the Browns to win five out of their last seven games. Record, 8-7-1 The Vikings lost their playoff spot on Sunday by losing to the Bears at home on Sunday, and will now look to rebuild in the offseason. The team reportedly intends to stick with Mike Zimmer as the head coach, and the 62-year-old told reporters on Monday that he has no intention of retiring anytime soon. Kirk Cousins, whom the Vikings spent a fortune on to sign back in March, finished the season with 4,298 passing yards, 30 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, record, 9-7 with Marcus Mariota out for the season finale. The Titans fell short of beating the Colts in Nashville on Sunday night and failed to secure a playoff spot, but even with their season being over, the Titans are headed into the offseason with plenty of optimism under head coach Mike Vrabel. It'll be nice to get back into the building and be familiar with everything that is going on, Mariota said. When you look at it, we hit stretches where we played really good football. Record, 9-6-1 The past week has been nothing but bad news for the Steelers. First they got kicked out of the playoffs after losing to the Saints in Week 16, then on Tuesday new broke that star receiver Antonio Brown had requested a trade from the team. According to CBS Sports' Jason LaConfora, Brown has issues with Mike Tomlin and Ben Roethlisberger, and that he felt like Tomlin is too aligned with Roethlisberger. Record, 10-6 playoff seed, no. 5 NFC with the Seahawks loss to the Dallas Cowboys, Seattle now has the 21st pick in the 2019 NFL Draft. Record, 10-6 playoff seed, no. 4 AFC with the Ravens loss to the Los Angeles Chargers, Baltimore now has the 22nd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft. Record, 11-5 playoff seed, number 3 AFC with the Texans loss to the Indianapolis Colts, Houston now has the 23rd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft. Record, 12-4 Bears playoff seed, no. The NFC with the Bears loss to the Philadelphia Eagles, the Oakland Raiders now have the 24th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft thanks to the Khalil Mack trade. Record, 9-7 playoff seed, no. 6 NFC thanks to the Nick Foles magic once again, the Philadelphia Eagles are moving on to the NFL Divisional Round to take on the New Orleans Saints. Kickoff is Sunday at 4.40 Eastern Time. Record, 8-6 playoff seed, number 6 AFC Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts went down to Houston and handled business against the Texans. They move on to a Saturday matchup at 4.35 Eastern Time to battle the Kansas City Chiefs in the NFL Divisional Round. Record, 10-6, Cowboys, playoff seed, no. 4 NFC This pick belongs to the Oakland Raiders, but is dependent upon where the Dallas Cowboys finish in the playoffs. 
Thanks to the only home team win in the wild card round, they are still alive and heading to Los Angeles to take on the Rams in the divisional round at 8.15 Eastern Time. Record, 12-4 playoff seed, no. 5 AFC The Los Angeles Chargers went to Baltimore and proved they were the better team, getting after Lamar Jackson and completely neutralizing his rushing attack. A trip to New England Sunday is now in store for the Bolts on a 105 Eastern Time kickoff. Record, 11-5 playoff seed, number 2 AFC The New England Patriots playoff season now begins with a Sunday kickoff against the Los Angeles Chargers. The weather forecast calls for snow, which is perfectly fine with Tom Brady and Co. Record, 13-3 playoff seed, no. To NFC The Los Angeles Rams kick off their playoff run at home Saturday night against the Dallas Cowboys. Kickoff is at 8.15 Eastern Time. Record, 12-4 playoff seed, no. One AFC Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs' magical season is just getting started as the Red Hot Colts head to Arrowhead Stadium for a Saturday 4.35 Eastern Time kickoff to start the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Record, 13-3, Saints, playoff seed, no. One NFC The Green, Bay Packers own the pick, but it's dependent upon where the New Orleans Saints season ends, and Drew Brees has no intentions of that happening anytime soon. The Saints playoff run starts Sunday afternoon at 4.40 Eastern Time against the Philadelphia Eagles, 